Good morning. Today we've got two videos for you. One of them is from our own Sarah Wolf, and the other one is an extension from the interview I had with Andy Byrne. Just a couple short videos that I hope will be an encouragement to you today and help strengthen your prayer life as you think through these things. Hey everybody, it's Sarah here. I wanted to share with you what my prayer life has been like for the past couple of months. Well, really the past year. Um, with everything that's going on with like COVID and the election and, you know, just the state of the world. It's, there's a lot of stuff to worry about and I wanted to share with you a couple of verses that, you know, has helped me come to terms with that and just give everything to God. Um, Matthew 6, 25. For the reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air they do, that they do not sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? And who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Basically, God is saying, you know, he's got it under control. Yes, things are scary, but you know, there's nothing more than we can do but, you know, live our lives according to what God has told us. And that means giving it to God, trusting him that he knows what he's doing. And as hard as that is, it gives me comfort that I don't have to worry about it because I know he's in control. And that's basically what my prayer life has been like for the past couple of months. I mean, I was in the hospital for three and a half weeks back in April. And, you know, just feels like everything's in utter chaos right now. But I know that no matter what happens, it's in God's plan, whether we see it or not. That's just something that I take comfort in. Let's get personal. Yeah. You personally. Yeah. What did 2020 mean to you? What have you learned about yeah. yourself, your relationship with God? Yeah. Uh, somebody told me when I was going, and this was only six years ago, they said to make sure that I ministered out of the overflow. And what that meant to me was my relationship with the Lord, first and foremost, uh, needed to be my focus. And that proved true in in 2020 uh, because there were days where there was a lot of pressure and there were days that you know I didn't hear from anyone uh, and regardless of what was going on on those external fronts uh, I needed to be connected with the Lord and so when I did that well I felt like I wanted to glorify the Lord and I wanted to grow in him and I could take whatever was thrown at me. And when I wasn't connected with him and whether that be um, going on a prayer walk or uh, listening to music or going on a hike in the woods or reading the word or listening to great teaching, um, when, I, when I was doing that, I felt connected and I felt ready. And when I wasn't, I, I really felt dry. And so, that, that was part of it. Um, the other is uh, we're all called to be pastors in certain ways. And uh, as a dad, my first goal is to pastor and to lead and to love my wife and children first. And I learned uh, the importance of that in some cases because we were quarantined together. And, you know, outside of a phone call or a Zoom meeting, that was who I was related to. And that actually was a great blessing of, of the year 2020. Um, and I, that was something that I, that I really learned and leaned upon. And then probably the third thing was uh, at the upper room we have shared leadership. And that group of elders really functions uh, together, not one having more authority than the other and I was really thankful for that because some of these decisions um, were uh, some of the, the responses they were too great 
for one person to to really be able to handle or, or to understand. And so having uh, other brothers to share that, um, to be able to, when people ask a question, to say, I don't know, let the elders talk about it and we'll come back with an, with an answer, was, was really valuable for me. I think I, if it were all up to me, um, I would have made a lot more mistakes. Not that we <laughs> didn't make mistakes, but there would have been a lot more uh, and the pressure would have been a lot more. <laughs> Um, and I think the, the challenge to connect with the Lord would have been even greater mm -hmm. because of that outward pressure.